Courtney Corbata here with Rockland Boulder, Marcus Nidefer. Marcus, how are you doing today? Very good, very good. Good, good. So just to start off, Marcus, where are you from? From Bristol, Tennessee. I uh, grew up uh, there all my life and then went to school at the University of Kentucky. And, um, you know, this is not my first time in New York. Um, this is actually my third time playing baseball in New York, so it's, it's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's been pretty good to me. So. so what did your, when you were in high school, Tennessee, Kentucky, what did your teammates in high school think of you going to school? Yeah, it was kind of, a, kind, of, kind of a backstab on my part, but, you know, at the same time, you just kind of got to go, um, you know, where the team and the school wants you. And, uh, you know, Tennessee wasn't a fit for me, and uh, you know, all my friends and, and parents and, and everyone grew up Tennessee fans and, and went to UT. Um, and, and it just wasn't a school for me, so I ended up at uh, UK, and it worked out well. Still, uh, stay in touch with all my roommates and coaches. So it's a, it's a pretty cool uh, opportunity for me, and it worked out well. Now I hear, rumor has it, that during one year while you were at the University of Kentucky, you broke your thumb. You actually played the whole season, and it was your throwing hand too. So tell me about that. It sounds like it would have been a challenge for you. Yeah, we we, uh, we worked around it. Um, my roommate's uh, father was a dentist, and uh, he actually made a special brace um, from the retainer material, and it worked out well. Um, and we didn't really have a guy that could step in at that point in time to catch for us. So I just kind of had to wear it and uh, get through the season. So you talked it out. You talked it out. So Marcus, what is one thing a lot of people don't know about you? Uh, don't know. Well, like I said earlier, um, I played in the Astros organization and played in the Pin League up here in New York, actually. Um, and that was my second time. We, we won a championship with that team, and it was kind of ironic because I came back to New York and won a second championship, so it's pretty cool. And uh, like we were talking earlier, uh, I played in the, in the New York Collegiate League for Rochester, so I had a pretty good year there, too. So um, out of, I guess, the, my career uh, years from, from baseball, New York's kind of been uh, pretty good to me. Those are my better years, so it works out well. So you're practically a New Yorker. Yeah, you're pretty right. much I very so. familiar with the yeah. area. So Marcus, if you won the lottery, what is the first thing that you would buy? One of the first things. Oh, that's one of many. Well, probably buy a baseball team. Okay, well, yeah. It's a baseball team. If, if I can keep all the players here and all the stuff, probably buy a rocket Alright, yeah. so owners better watch out. Yeah. You win the lottery. That's up. <laughs> That's right. Alright, and if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? And what would your name be? What would you name yourself? I'd probably go with uh, the invisibility um, character. I can, I can leave and be invisible at any time. Uh, no, I don't know. The, my name is. Uh, definitely wouldn't be Flash because I'm not fast. Um, I, I would like to be some kind of power guy. Some kind of power guy. Uh, they call me Big Lion, so I might have to go with that. Big, big Lion. Big Lion it is. Big Lion. Alright. And if you could choose any two celebrities to be your parents, who would you choose? I like Shaquille O'Neal. Pretty funny guy. Um, that, that would be pretty, pretty cool. But you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna pick anything over the parents I already got. They're pretty awesome. So they're, they're celebrities in itself. But um, you know, Shaquille would be pretty cool. Um, Charlie Law would be great as well. He's, 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 he's a pretty quite, funny guy. He's quite the celebrity he's too, I hear. On pretty team. much. I mean, yeah. it's, if you're not hanging out with Charlie Law. You're not hanging out with anyone. So. Being from the south. There's a lot of great food from the South. There is. What is your favorite food? Um, you know, you can't, you can't beat a good country breakfast. And, um, I haven't had biscuits and gravy in a long time. And it's not good for you, but it's, it's good for the top. It tastes really well. But, um, you know, the country food is uh, you know, heavy on salt, heavy on fat, but it just tastes really good. You know, here um, in New York, they're a little more health conscious. You kind of watch what you eat, everyone's on the go. Um, there's not too many sit-down meals that you do because life is so fast. But um, you know, southern southern food is all about you know we're all together, we're there, 
we're all together sitting and eating together at the big table, and uh, you, you just eat till you're full. I mean, that's uh, that's that's a pretty good hobby of mine. Yeah, I like it. And to add, southern food, delicious. Yeah, Can't go wrong. Yep. Nothing like it. Right. Like, yep. So what are some of your other hobbies besides eating and playing baseball? What do you like to do? That's true. Well, you know, in the off-season, I have a very good job uh, with, uh, with my dad and uh, with real estate. And my brother's in real estate as well. And my buddy Mo that came up because he, um, he is, uh, he's a property manager, manager with me as well. So we have a good time doing that. And, uh, you know, Go to the lake a lot, uh, spend time uh, out on the boat, you know, enjoying yourself, fishing at times. You know. uh, since we're, we're in Tennessee, we're in the mountains, and we got lakes. You know, here it's it's more ocean oriented, where everyone goes to Jersey and, uh, and the shores. You know. But you know, I, I enjoy the lake. If I, if I have some spare time, we're, we're going straight to the lake. Do you guys have a boat? Yeah, we, we, we uh, you know, most of my friends have a boat. We have a boat and. Uh, um, we have a lake house as well, so it's right there on the water. Um, it's open. We've got mountains in the back. It's very, very relaxing. Much different from the city. That's right. You know, Much different. You, uh, you, don't, you don't run into many, many people out there. And Marcus, one last question. Who has inspired you the most when it comes to playing baseball? Um, you know, getting here was kind of a tough road. You know, everybody has their own story, and it's probably very similar. Um, you know, but, um, I've been released three times, and you know, being released is never, never fun or easy. And uh, you know, you always want to give up and, and go to a different occupation. But it's, it's tough. You have, you have fun playing baseball. You have fun, you know, being out here with the guys. You know, Jamie. And it's tough to give it up. So uh, my dad's really, really been um, persistent. You know, pushing me through those hard times. The time there, you know, there's light on it. Uh, so you stay with it. Uh, everyone has a plan, and uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. And that's how I really got here. Very well Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time with us today. Thank you, Courtney. This is Courtney Corvetta and Marcus Nadeberg here at Providence Bank Park.